the anger of Adonai will blaze up against you and he will shut up the sky so that there will be no rain. The ground will not yield its produce and you will quickly pass away from the good land Adonai is giving you. Therefore, you are to store up these words of mine in your heart and in all your being. Tie them on your hand and as a sign and put them in front of your head, head, headband around your forehead. Teach them carefully to your children, talking about them when you sit at home and when you are traveling on the road and when you lie down and when you get up. And write them on the door frames of your house and your gates so that you and your children will live long on the land Adonai swore your inheritance that he would give them for as long as they is there is sky above the earth. Let me tell you something. Listen, we're living in the time where we're moving into what you call the blessings of Jehovah like never before. And let me tell you, the enemy is trying to pull so many of you off your pace. The enemy doesn't want, he wants a lot of people to stop believing that Jehovah has their best interests. Interest. Now, he wants to try to entice you with different things. And, and some of it, believe it or not, now it's popularity and different things with titles and things in ministry. Uh, he, he gags you with that. And then, then it could be in relationships. It could be in business. It could be with money and all different kinds of things. And you start serving other gods. You start serving the apostle. You start serving uh, 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 or worshiping the apostle, you start worshiping the pastor and the bishops and all these people and your friends, huh? A godly man and godly. When you start worshiping them, you start making them gods. You got to be careful who you put as an idol. You listen, the only one that you're supposed to be worshiping and put up there is Jehovah. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. People want you to make it, make it like they're so important. But when you get so important, amen. That you know you you can't be touched and you can't be you, you can't no one say anything to you. Listen, let me tell you something. That's a terrible place. Now I'm not talking. Now you have to be careful because some people can't say anything to you. Now you you don't want to get that mixed up. But I'm talking about there are certain times where there there are things that people are going to say to us, and we have to be open to be able to receive. We have to we have to think about others' hearts and their intentions. Amen. But now that not that's not talking about that's not condoning sinning because see you have. Have some people there's a very careful it's a thin line between righteousness and unrighteousness and this is where most people get tricked up you know because some people think they can just say anything to you and you're supposed to listen to why ain't nobody gonna listen to you why because you know if, if somebody's saying something to you and it doesn't make sense it just doesn't make sense and you need to be encouraged today no matter where if if, if your best friend leaves you if your if your husband leaves you if your wife leaves you if you lost your job, if you've been wrongly accused, whatever it is, let me tell you something. I want you to know that God cares for you. And I want you to know that God's eyes is on the land that he has for you, right where you are in your home, your situation. God's eyes is on it, and it looks good to him. And he's going to release those things that he promised to you. You just got to love him with all your heart. Let me tell you something. that In order for this thing to work, God cares. Now you have to care enough, amen, to know that he cares and reverence him because he cares and so that means that you have to give of yourself you can't flow in the things of the flesh and with fleshly people and try to reap the blessings of his caring huh because it's out of his loving kindness that what that he drew us hallelujah let no man come from to the father not unless he draws him and so we thank him for choosing us huh in spite of everything that we are everything that we've done God yet wants to choose us many of us have had child children out of way Lock, we've had all kinds of situations, amen, of, in, in, in our lives before we accepted Yeshua the Messiah, the Holy One, as our Lord and Savior. And so, you know, in, in spite of everything that we've done, Jehovah still cared. He cared when we were doing it, and He even cares even now. And He cares enough that there's an elevation that is coming to everyone under the sound of my voice. Now, I'm just talking to you today. I'm letting you know that God cares for you. I don't care what it is, where you are, and what you're going 
going through, you just know that if you serve the Lord God with all your heart, mind, body, soul, and spirit, God is going to move for you. He's going to move for you. He has you. And don't you ever forget those things that we've been talking about lately and what we've been talking about what? It's a God experience. huh? And that's why, that's when you realize that he cares because see, you done locked yourself so in God and you don't got time to be on the phone with silly people and, and, and bad communications and these conferences and that conference and this workshop and all that stuff. I'm not knocking and I'm telling you that you put yourself in a place in God and amen no matter what you're going through in your surroundings huh? the people won't even be able to see it because you're so far in him huh? Why, why, listen let me tell you something when you get into the courtyard of Yehovah, the from a kingdom perspective, when you come and you enter into the courtyard, you go in, and the deeper you go in, the closer you get to the castle, huh? So you get to the throne, hallelujah, oh bless his name, and so now you understand when you go in, amen, you start understanding, the far you go in, the more you understand how much he cares, amen, because no matter what, the joy of the Lord is your strength, huh? Let me tell you, in bad times, he gives you joy, in bad at times he gives you strength hallelujah let me tell you something why because you're going through something called a God experience and while you're going through this experience listen let me tell you something you might as well get excited and celebrate it hallelujah because guess what he is for you Jehovah is for you Jehovah is for you and Jehovah has a plan for your life. He, he Listen, let me tell you something. The things that he wants to do in your life, he doeth. And he wants to do those things. And, and he wants to be glorified. He needs to be glorified. He needs to be glorified in your life. He needs to know that you're the one. You're the one that he's working it out for. And that you that you love him just enough to care and show back. That's why it's not hard for me to get into worship and praise and talking to him because you know what I understand how much he cared for me listen let me tell you something nobody can care for you like Jesus or Yeshua the Messiah no one will ever care for you like the Lord I don't care what they say I don't care how much they say they love you I don't care how much they say they, uh, they're going to be with you I don't care how many oaths and vows they make let me tell you something no matter what you do Yehovah still cares amen he has a love for you All you, listen even if you make a mistake you repent amen he's, he's faithful and just to forgive you huh but people today are walking around with unforgiveness huh? that's why they got quiet huh let me tell you something. They got unforgiveness, huh? They got, they got, they got familiar spirits, huh? And they want to call it God. They want to call it spiritual, and, you know. And they're quick to tell you. I, I often understand. I don't understand when they tell me. Oftentimes, the spirit told me this, or the Lord told me that, and you know. And I, I you know, I really want to ask him. I said, well, have you ever taped him when he's talking?" Glory be to God. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just trying to say to you, you know, they're making up stuff. Amen. A lot of that stuff is myths. And it's just made up stuff. Huh? Let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you. But what ain't a made up myth, I, one thing that you can depend on, you can't depend on mortals. But listen, in Psalms 118 verse 8, it said, it's better to put your confidence in the Lord God than in man. Huh? So you better have your confidence in God because God cares for you. He's not going to change. Huh? He's the same yesterday today and forevermore in Jeremiah 12 and 11 yes they have made it a waste and wasted it mourns to me the whole land is wasted because nobody really cares and that's the thing that you got to understand what I'm talking about see Yehovah cares but people waste and and they make they make it's waste and they make it wasted they waste it and they make it become waste and it mourns Jehovah because all the things that he's given us the tools to live holy to live righteous amen to go after the lost amen to be brothers and sisters to one another and keepers and all that stuff and do ministry and you know the main thing that they do they don't really care amen you know I you know you can get in the task and I'll tell you you this thing is tested and tried I mean you can stand on the word of Jehovah you can get in the test in the task amen or Jehovah says listen I want y'all to do this amen and you with a group amen and the group really don't care amen they don't care about the things that Jehovah gave you they only care about what 
they want to do. huh? And if you decide not to do what they want to do, they're not going to be part of your crew. And that's just the way it go. And uh, you know, and listen, let me tell you something. It ain't nothing negative. Amen. That's just a decision that they were able to make. Amen. And thank God that they had their will. Amen. And so, you know, he gives you strength. And let me tell you something. He puts that thing in. But you got to understand, we're living in a time where people really don't care. People don't care about the mothers and the fathers and their sisters and the brothers. Amen. They don't care about the body of Jehovah. Hallelujah. They don't care. They're not interested in souls, huh? Nah, they're interested in being popular. Amen. You got to say this. You got to give them the accolades. You got to, you got to introduce them and all that stuff. Uh, you got to carry their bags. You got to give them water. They got to add it and this and that. All these different tools and all this stuff. And then they really don't care about people. You got, you got women that are raising children. Amen. And, 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 and they don't have, they don't have any home and they don't have the resources to feed their kids. Uh, they, they, they may be going home to a dark house. They may be going home to no water. Anything. They may, they, they may have lost their car. May have lost their house. Amen. I was talking to a woman today, uh, the other day and she told me, she said, when she told me how she, you know, she had three days, 72 hours to move. She called me Monday. Amen. And so, you know, what I'm saying to you is God cares. Amen. And you have to be sensitive enough to care about people. But people today really don't care. That's why, you know, we understand that we're living in the last days. Amen. And you must depend on Jehovah. You must be encouraged today and know that Jehovah cares for you. He cares about your situation. He cares about your circumstances. He cares about how it affects you, huh? What's been done to you, how it affects you. He cares. Jehovah actually cares. And now some of this stuff, amen, now there's two folds to this. Some of this stuff we got to examine ourselves because some of the things, amen, you get that twisted even though Jehovah cares. But then, you know, some of you haven't done what he said in the first scripture that I read, huh? You're not serving them with your whole heart, body, soul, mind, and spirit, huh? There's still some flesh in you, and that flesh has to die daily in all of us, huh? Father, allow this flesh to die in me. Allow me, allow me, Zari, uh-huh, to be filled with thy spirit, that I'm releasing thy spirit, because you don't want to release your flesh. Nobody, you, we don't want to release your flesh. You don't say nothing that you ain't going to do. And if you ain't going to do it, just don't say it. And if you happen to say something and you can't do it, then say it. And if you change, then say it. But don't get up there and say something that the Spirit told me this or God changed his mind and all that old stuff. See, you just know you're dealing with a, a, a psycho and a crazy person a lot. That's a person that needs to be delivered. So you have to pray for the deliverance. Amen. And, and, and keep moving. But you know that people really don't care. And there are a lot of people that are set up and have been brought in our lives and, and as an experiences to us. They become our experience and they also become our stepping stone. They become those things, amen, that step, amen, that, or that stone or that rock that we're going to stand on that elevates us. Yes, they are the ones that cause us to be elevated. They're the ones that cause us to be elevated. They think they're hurting you, but they're elevating you, huh? Because they're causing you to understand how much Jehovah cares. Amen. I don't care what it is. Listen, let me tell you something. Don't you ever call an apple an orange and an orange an apple, whatever it is and whatever you feel, that's what they are. You know, I mean, it's this rocket scientist. It's this rocket scientist. Listen, learn to discern and not obey a disobedient spirit. You can see through people. But Jehovah cares for you. In Psalms 138, verses 6 through 8, I'm almost done. For though Adonai is high, he cares for the lowly. He, he hasn't forgotten anyone. While the proud, he perceives from afar. You keep me alive. When surrounded by danger, you put out your hand when my enemies rage. With your right hand, you save me. Adonai will fulfill his purpose for me. Your grace, Adonai, continues forever. Don't abandon the work of your hands. Hallelujah. Adonai's work will last forever. Adonai will protect you. I don't care what 
they're going to do. Uh, no matter how many people turn against you, no matter how fierce and how large your enemy is, no matter how large the army is and those that are conspiring against you, you just need to know today that Adonai will put out his hand, huh? And he'll, he'll move them back. Hallelujah. There's nobody that is so important.